That looks like everyone's ready, so I'm going to go ahead and start it up. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the PC Go For. I am joined tonight by Sign. Sign, how are you doing tonight? I'm doing good. How about yourself? You know, I'm always, uh, I'm always doing fine. I'm always doing fine. So I'm just excited to cast. You know, you know how it is. Well, I am too. <laughs> oh, you are. Okay, that's well, that's that's perfect then. That's exactly what I need. And we're just gonna be starting off tonight, as uh, I mean, as we always do with our with our bands. So we'll be S seven banning first. And again, our map is consulate, so they will ban the Capiteo out first. So I mean, not, not a bad ban for consulate. Capiteo is always useful. Capital is definitely very good, especially for that top four for kind of just fleshing out that closet position. First attacking ban will be a Nomad by 92 Bean Team. Not very surprising as Nomad is just very good for denying runouts and whatnot and just rotations from the defenders. And she's just very high utility, so yeah, not very surprising ban. Then followed up by an Echo ban. Uh, one of the three disruption operators that you really need to rid off the board, the three being Echo, Maestro, and Smoke. Generally, you see uh, the Echo band now, especially with the drones being changed to the point to where they're almost impossible to see with your eye, mm -hmm. making the IQ definitely a much stronger predict. Yeah, the IQ is definitely uh, seeing an increase in play since the new uh, buff, I guess you would call it, to Echo. I'm not even sure if it was on purpose or not, but... I mean, either way, it was it's an excellent addition to him. So it should be interesting again to see uh, how well that turns out here for both teams. As again, like IQ isn't banned, but they do have both of the Valkyrie and Echo banned. So I don't see the IQ being brought a whole lot here. But again, we'll have to just see how the teams decide to play this as a pulse. I mean, you've still got a lot of gadgets that can be spotted out by the IQ sensor. You've got the ADSs, the, the Pulse, and the Lesion Traps as well. As it looks like uh, Execration, Execration, I guess, uh, is going to see that Lesion and six pick off of the Montane Attackers and on to, to that Jackal. So we'll help a little bit more with the Roam Clear and possibly trying to track down this Pulse. So, we'll just have to see here, because, uh, again, welcome to everybody joining in. Pulse is definitely a very strong pick on this map in particular, as on the top floor site, the Pulse can roam downstairs all the way in archives, and he can effectively see through all three floors, or rather, the two above him, and provide information on the indie take coming from admin side, or rotate to piano to possibly deny a possible. Five seconds to insert. Yeah. They've got the. I mean, they've got plenty of denial here. Only the one nitro cell, but I mean, they've got the maestro cameras. They've also got. I mean, lesion traps can technically be a source of denial. And as well as the smokes. So, this is going to make this a little, pretty hard for uh, Bean Team uh, to make it through here. As. It's going to be. A admin push, I guess? Yeah. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to be an admin clear. There is a little bit of utility set up, but that's creators getting a very easy kill onto Sonar. Sonar being a little bit unaware of his surroundings. Really and because of that, he will have lost his life within the first 30 seconds. No refrag in position, so that's already going to put the mana in the hands of the main team. Yeah, and that's going to be execution to get the roaming pulse as well. So that's two big roamers off the board to start off with as it's going to leave it just to the three playing on the top floor. Legion, the smoke, and the maestro. So they've got plenty of utility as well as the gun power to uh, stop this push from bean team. But again, is it going to be successful is the main question here. They've got somebody on balcony. Motive is getting pinched out from <clears throat> all different directions. Here's a couple of goo mines will come out to try to deny this push, but the goo mine will get shot out immediately. Oh, is he might have been able to spot the head there of the Ash, I believe, or you know, the thermite inside of the office just above the table, but he will rotate out of meeting successfully. So still a minute and a half remaining on the round, and it looks like Motive is starting to get tracked out here. So not going to be able to uh, deny that intel for the time being as there's no mute on the board but 
Again, push coming out very slow. It looks like they're going to try to use as much utility as they can here. Still trying to throw in those smoke canisters, but Motive will toss down a lesion trap. A nice place one right there on the default plant spot in the corner. So, could possibly be very helpful for later in the round. Is they're going to have to deal with this maestro inside a bathroom as well. He's holding a very long angle all the way onto that meeting door. Still kills going into the hands of the team, but they haven't really done much to capitalize on the man advantage so far. As the timer is still being run down to about 40 seconds, slow the push kind of slowed down a lot, and this could really cost them a round. I do not know if smoke has two canisters left. I just saw one smoke come out there to try to deny a push. Response of their own. Dream will manage to push in piano after Nos gets killed on a filthy. Plant is currently going down. It's halfway done. It's about to complete. Creators is going to kill Nos and get a second one for himself before X Creation also gets the second kill. On to motive, we have round number one. Now putting a BT up 1 to 0 on console. A very excellent attack there from the Bean team as, I mean, they just cleared out the entire top floor there through admin all the way through meeting. They lost a couple of people along the way, but I mean, nothing really to scoff at as they were pretty, fairly dominant in that round. Yeah, definitely. The first two picks going into the hands of Bean team in the beginning was definitely kind of a big misplay, especially from Sonar there, not expecting a player to be repelling on printer window losing his life because of that and x creation just going downstairs and picking up that pulse pulse being a little bit too careless and not really having any support downstairs as the Jaeger who could have been duo roaming with him was not in a position to do so as he had been killed off earlier in the round push did start to slow down a little bit towards the end and it, it might have could have gone to hands of seven spades they just wasted a little bit more time but good capitalization on the straight manpower that they had just try to throw as many bodies into the site as they could and it ended up being successful. Yes. Ended up being very successful, but again, it looks like they're gonna be placing the same amount of utility over towards this admin take. I don't really know if I agree with this. I would uh, the mirror is not banned, so I mean you could possibly go for a mirror strat on this the kitchen wall here or at least do some some sort of strat to try to hold down this admin better. Because I mean, just based off the drones, it, lo it looks exactly like 92 Dream Team is going to make this exact same push. And yeah, with the spawns as well, it, it leads towards that. So it looks like they're going to have to. It looks like they're going to start out with throw here on the pulse here. Oh, he's going to try to go for the kill on the filthy, but filthy ready for it. Shuts down throw early on. So the pulse and the nitro cell. It's just one nitro cell. I'd assume motive. Yes, he does. So they've got one more nitro cell, but. I mean, that's all of the utility from that pulse. I mean, that's a big loss early on in the round. Yeah, definitely a big loss as seeing at their operator lineup. That is really the only info gathering op that they have available without an echo being banned. And Maestro, of course, not played this round surprisingly enough. No, no Maestro. So it looks like they switched out the mute for the Maestro, I would assume. And I mean, I think they also put it through a dock, through a dock in there instead of the lesion. So. Switching it up a little bit on the side of the defense. So I like to see that a little bit, but I mean, they didn't bring any more utility really, except for the meat jammers. And they lose that on their maestro cameras, which is what was at this point of the round their only source of utility. They traded out the mute. They traded out the info denial uh, for the info gathering for themselves. It's kind of the meta disadvantage of this round. By attackers. As much info as of course they did the previous round. Yeah. It looks like they're going for that same push onto the theater balcony again. But it looks like Creators is going to shut down that flank from Creator. A great flank hold by Creators to shut down. <laughs> shut that down right away. So, really seeing great teamwork here from the 92 Bean team as they look to make this attack start to happen towards meeting room and theater. So, it's going to be. Up to the thermite here. He doesn't have any more exothermic charges. I'm actually curious as to what he used those on. It might have been, I guess, the, the long wall inside of the admin office. And uh, Dream will get shot uh, a little bit into the shoulder there by the mute peeking, uh, 
peeking the connector, but some grenades will start to go flying through as it's gonna be filthy to try to push up onto this angle. Creators takes down the dock with Nars. Nitro will come through as the push comes through from filthy, but it's mean to trade him off, but he's in a 1v4 now. He's gonna have to clutch this out if he wants to bring the second round and stop this momentum. He will go for the shots on the Zofia. Butters will get it lit up quite a bit. And a nice headshot there from Mean as he takes down that Zofia, but he's gonna have to fight through three more, and they're all holding fairly passive angles. Still has another smoke canister left to play with as he tosses one of them out, but with the angles being held on the outside window as well as inside of the long desk. This would be an insane clutch if Mean were able to successfully do it. But no, X Creation will shut down Mean a second round for. 92 bean team yeah i do believe uh the thermite used his exothermic charge on the admin while looking towards visa stairs and then also on the hatch inside of admin as that hatch was reinforced to kind of prevent anybody from sitting inside of admin office and holding the flank which they also had someone surprisingly enough uh that was creators sitting inside visa holding the flank so, yeah. which he with the spawn lines as well sonar it guards. leads towards sonar, that so it looks again, like they're gonna have really to it looks like they're gonna start no out with throw here on and, the pulse here oh well. he's gonna try to go for the kill on the filthy but filthy in there and ready it for it a shuts down throw early on so the pulse and the nitro cell it's just one nitro cell and i assume motive yes he does so they've got one more nitro cell but i mean that's all the utility from that pulse that's a big loss early on in the round we're seeing here is definitely a very weak roam game from from seven spades and uh really just good capitalization from bean team there and just kind of realizing the fact that there wasn't very much gathering there uh, of course reflected by the bands as well and just overall good play from bean team there and they passed two rounds yo will you um stick in my stream please and let me know how you sound to yourself I think I need to bump you up a little bit. All right, hold up. Let me pull it up. Half my volume. All right, I got you. Let me know if that sounds better, chat. And you too, uh, Simon. Thank you. Let me. Just like if, I, if it ever sounds bad, chat, just tell me. I want to fix it before it gets too long. If you were a subscriber, you wouldn't get ads. I'm just it's fine. But it looks like it's going to be another push in through admin as B team really applying a lot of focus onto this admin take. As, I mean it's worked out for them so far. If it's I mean if it's not broke, don't fix it. They will spot out the pulse, it seems like, on the yellow stairs. Sonar is gonna get pushed off that angle immediately and try to possibly go for a nitro cell kill here is might be able to walk in through the main lobby, but we will spot him out. So we'll have to rotate back down towards the piano. As some grenades are going to get tossed through, but we'll do about half of the HP off of Sonar as it's Motive who shuts down filthy. So looks like it might be a much better round here for S7 as they get the first pick of the round. It's definitely uh, much better than previous two where it did go to the hands of the 2 bean team. A creation there looking for a refrag. We'll get some shots about the end of Jaeger of Motive, Motive inside of uh, Circle Desk. Butters will manage to finally get a refrag onto Sonar. It's the pulse you have lost on the bottom floor site. So it's not a huge deal to lose that. But Butters pushing in and getting a second kill onto Motive. Both rumbers inside a piano that have been taken down. Bro will manage to get a refrag though onto him. And putting us at even man count. Not even man count now as Throw gets a. It's a very nice shot on the creators. Creators getting a little bit too aggressive there, pushing down yellow stairs. Now putting S7 in the one man advantage. Yeah, so they're finally finding their footing here on the consulate, but again, the, the two remaining attackers are, are on the opposite side of the map as each other. So this is going to be a very difficult push. They're going to have to win some one on ones or maybe even some one on twos here if they're going to want to win this round out. So. That's gonna have to be some big plays here from Dream or X Creation. We'll try to find one on the mute playing behind the white, but the bandit will peek from pipes and take him down as Mean will find the second. A nice round to push it back from S7. Definitely a much better roam presence from S7. Stalling out the piano, ultimately their two roamers did get picked off, but they had wasted almost two minutes in the round, which is really all that you can ask for from your roamers, especially on a bottom floor defense where holding piano is kind of uh, a must 
picking off that Zofia there before she was able to capitalize on the top floor control was definitely a good job from, I believe that was throw there on the bandit. Might just pick up a nice 3k for himself on that round. Yeah, definitely some big rounds coming out. I mean, thus far from creators in particular, uh, as well as from mean and throw really trying to bring that last round into their own team's favor, but will finally make it one two. Is they win their first defense in the first round. Half. It'll force them back upstairs to the meeting or, or to console and meeting rooms. Opting to try and force this bomb site out for a third time and possibly turn it into a victory. And the previous few ones they did of course lose this site ultimately go to the garage and they finally did win, like you said, the first defense. Uh, curious as to why they don't try to defend the metal floor site instead, as generally this site has actually kind of fallen out of the meta, at least from recent console matches that I have seen. Um, really, the top floor defense has been really unsuccessful just due to uh, operator bans not really being in the favors of, defense, of defenders. Rather, yeah, that's definitely interesting so far. I would have thought. I mean, I believe S Seven was the team to win the last go four. If I'm, if I'm not mistaken, so. Definitely interesting to see their slow start here to consulate as a nitro cell will get flown out from sonar, so I will be unsuccessful in landing. And it looks like they will finally get that mirror to hold on to admin as it's the creators try and shut down the this from the, from the, the, the printer window. Throw will be able to rotate off there successfully and will not be punished at all for it. So. Creators guess getting there a little bit too late. Could have even gotten a free kill, but still possibly get a free kill on this bandit. As the upside down repel is extremely OP. Spots the bandit, but no. It looks like he will rotate over towards the main task as Gibby Philly just walks in, takes down filthy or no, takes down motive. And it's Sonar to get the refrag. He gets another one. He's going for a third. A nice shot there onto the administration windows. Getting it just up to creators and execration. Creators is going to get lit up by the mirror on the printer window and throw is going to just continue to hold on to this angle. They know they, I don't know if they do know that they have the diffuser or not, but they're going to still aggressively peek all angles. It's going to be execution. He's going to come up the main spiral stairs here. Could possibly find somebody off guard if they're not paying attention to it, but it looks like Sonar might be aware of the push. He will get a few shots under the gridlock and will finally take her down. That's a fourth kill for Sonar. He's going for the ace, and he wants a dock. He's a little bit cracked up here on yeah, the good stuff. It's all left to creators, and could we possibly see an ace here from Sonar? He's desperately trying to find that last kill. Yeah, and a one versus four, and on a very low HP with only a minute left. Does have Diffuser in hand, but it's still a very unfavorable position. Sonar getting a little bit aggressive. He really wants this ace. He spots the Thatcher, just misses the shots, though. Creators looking to try to push up the spiral staircase. Doesn't look like there's anybody can test him besides the smoke inside of Projector. He's looking for this flank from Sonar though. Sonar Ooh. will manage to get the ace. Hitting some very nice shots that round. Sonar getting the quick refrag at the beginning and transferring it to a very nice 3k. Kind of ultimately winning that round really singly handed getting all five kills for himself. A very powerful and strong round for a sonar as he'll be he'll push that or creators as he'll push that to uh, two two now and those were his first five kills of the match as well so an excellent way to start off your killing spree indeed it is with that round going into the hands of seven spades it will not tie us up two to two they will opt to of course go to their tertiary bomb site which will be lobby and press room Holding that top floor on this site is really a must, as you can't really deny a straight-up diffuse plant in the front door of Circle Desk without the top floor control to help deny that. Uh, the run game has been kind of lagging, except in the previous two rounds, which ultimately is what led to Seven Spades' victory uh, in the past two rounds, of course. So, we see what it will be showing up like for this one. Yeah, I mean, I would assume that we're going to be seeing an aggressive room here, but again, it looks like it's a it's a it's a heavy operator setup here. They're gonna get the maestro, the dock, and 
I think Mozzie's at two speed if I'm if I'm my memory serves. We gotta mute that to two speed. So only one three speed right now, and it's going to be throw, so. Ten seconds to insertion. Looks like he may have been spawn yeah, kill here. Or maybe he's just trying to reinforce me to an admin. Yeah, I, I don't know. I believe that was Thor who tried to spawn peek the admin window and previous console defense, and he did just get deleted Body. by Filthy. Yeah. That was him. That was definitely him. You are correct. It looks like we'll see another admin so. take, too. Well, yeah. On, uh... This map in particular, an admin push for really any site is definitely a viable one, as you need to the top floor for every single site, including, of course, the top floor bomb site as well. Doesn't look like there's going to be anybody uh, aggressively contesting admin, as you don't see most teams do it as it's kind of a death sentence, especially with that upside down window repel. It's kind of a gunfight that you don't really win Changing a lot of the time. Ready. Yeah, that upside down repel is definitely. A pain and a half to dispel. So a lot of people just choose not to peek the angle to it completely. And I mean it's a viable strategy, but I mean you're gonna have to worry about that same person being on the the, the repel the entire round. So, EMPs working out and take away some of those mean cameras that mean was trying to place down. Is I gonna leave the default camera up as Looks like they're gonna spot the repel coming up there onto the main window. We're gonna go serve a firm few pre fires that Hibana is going to get lit quite a bit. Taking down to about just above 25 HP and still gonna have her life and her gun in her hand. There's some pushings coming in from the main hallway. Gonna spot out Damasi pushing in, gonna get that down and the kill. A nice kill from Creators to take down Sonar and Nitro Cell off the board. And it looks like the Doc is trying to contest on the upstairs. He will pick himself back up and be on about 25 HP before. Having to retreat back down the stairs, and it looks like the Maestro wants to get aggressively here on to the top floor. But it looks like everyone's rotated away except for the Habana, possibly. No, who's still up here? It looks like it's Thatcher. No, it's like he says, nobody upstairs except for no Filthy's upstairs. So he still has the ability to try to frag this kid out if he's gonna be able to successfully bait him into him. Yeah, the attack kind of trying to fall off of the upstairs take as they realize they've wasted so much time with 45 seconds left. The roamers upstairs have really only, have already done their job. Even though Sonar did get picked off, he did assist in wasting most of the round and ultimately is really running down the time still on the roamers upstairs who should be able to deny the plan. Yeah, we're still running out from Maestro, but it'll be quickly shut down by Butters as he finds a double kill. He will finally take out that default camera. Let's gonna put this into a 2v5 here as Odiv will take one now, but it's Creators to get the immediate retrade, and it's filthy to get the third. So, a nice round there from 92 Bean Team as they will take the lead back, putting themselves up 3-2. A kind of back and forth round that kind of looked like it should have been a seven spades victory as with top floor control still in their hands besides the player who was on projector balcony, which was kind of denying the defenders from having control of it. They still were preventing anybody from hopping in as that maestro was inside bathroom. I do believe he tried to jump out of console windows and go for a run out. The two players going for that run out or peak uh, didn't quite catch what it was was kind of a big misplay in my eyes as both of them got very easily picked off by butters and kind of opened up the site push as with the three man advantage all the attackers really had to do was just straight up push all their bodies into the site which is exactly what they did and they simply just fragged out the defenders and that's what ultimately is now putting bean team in the lead three to two i can't believe that's their name bro it's hard to say sometimes. It's the 92 Bean Team. They had a cool logo as well, but I, unfortunately it was too small and I couldn't add it to my overlay. So, 92 Bean Team, if you're listening to this, make sure you make the picture a little bit bigger next time. Like 520 by 520, I think it's right. So, just a head, like a word to the wise. If you want me to put your thing on there, if not, then just leave it. I don't care. The American flag looks good too. <laughs> yes, it does. Oh yeah, I know you don't approve of it, but I approve Attackers of it. Are moving to You'd rather what, like, like a British flag up there? Oh. Oh, he put down both his mirrors at least. Well, yeah, there's that. 
do lose a body and a nitro cell for possible plant denial for the kill. Uh, still an unfortunate disconnect, even though he did use most of his utility. I'm just trying to look on the bright side here, Sign, alright? You don't have to be so negative such a negative Nancy when it comes to this stuff. Like obviously it's it's unfortunate when anybody lags out. I'm just trying to I'm just trying to like the silver lining of this is that he put his utility up. So if you wanna play it, which it looks like they're gonna I don't even think they're gonna try to play this. It looks like they're just gonna play the one in oh, so no we'll rotate to it, so. Is it gonna be a good hold? I, even with the man disadvantage, I still feel like if S7 play this right, they can still win this round. And that's going to be the second exothermic charge as the Nitrous, I believe, from Throw, or maybe it was from Nosk, is going to take down that uh, that last one. So they're going to be able to play closer on this wall than is going to be comfortable for the 92 Bean team. Yeah, he does not get drowned out here, but oh Throw will God. actually go for an aggressive peek and will get picked off by X Creation. Yeah. And very easy kill for him there, I was about to say. If he doesn't get droned out, then that could be a free kill for him there. But he will unfortunately get picked off. Center will manage to get a kill on the top of onto Filthy, though. It's your main source of soft destruction. You stop the Zofia, but losing your buck again is your main soft destruction. Sonar will rotate back to site, being in the man disadvantage before he will get picked off by Butters. Now pushing from Archives. Looks like the attack is now coming from both sides. Or rather, Butters is just kind of going for a flank to try to distract to for the main push out to the garage. I mean, here with a tight angle, we managed to get going with Butters. For X Creation gets a second kill for himself on a Nosk. It's all up to mean in a one versus three, but X Creation gets a third kill for himself in the round. Up to mean cleaning up round number six. Now putting a 92 bean team in the lead, four to two. Your way. Starting back up on Consulate. Just as a reminder, 92 Bean Team will be up 4 to 2, and they will now just be switching onto their defensive half. And of course, S7 will now be rotating onto their attack half of this matchup. So, a perfect time to rehost, at least from my point of view, as I mean, that's the easiest time for me to rehost because that's the easiest way to rehost. Is I mean, all I have to do is click like three buttons and I'm good. So, thank you for such a timely rehost. But, either way, Fortnite God 520 has been banned by Battle Eye. Thank God. Get the Fortnite kids out of here. We don't need any Fortnite people on Siege. Battle Eye doing God's work there. Exactly. Exactly. Defenders, protect your bombs from being defused by attackers. Taking a look at operator picks for the defense, of course, we have Pulse, which, like I said previously, when S7 was on the defense, can sit inside of basement and can see up to through both floors, uh, ultimately providing a lot of information for the whole team, and kind of just also serving as kind of a menace, as even if the Pulse isn't really doing a whole lot, the fact that there is a pulse can kind of deny some plant spots as some people left. are too afraid to try to stick a plant some in a position in a projector room. I don't believe there is any spot that you can sit that you cannot nitro cell from uh, from below. And in console, I know that you can plant on the desk to deny a C4 from below, but projector room push is pretty much denied if the bottom if the low control is not already taken. So then, no nitro cell will come out and ultimately deny the plant. Yeah, so definitely got to be thinking. They've got to keep that in mind, like you said. When they really start to go for this attack. And it looks like they're just going to hop straight into admin here. No pressure whatsoever to start out. They're going to keep a few scans. That's going to actually be the pull spotted out. So they're not going to be able to run for very long. It's, I mean, he's not even left sight yet. So laying the shotgun close on to the main door here we'll go out and take down mean so an excellent peek from creators as the nitro cell will remain there and we'll jump out and go for the connected uh, shotgun kill as well creators with a quick double kill to start off the round he's gonna fly in a nitro cell but it will not land as he is going to continue to hold on to this meeting room he's really just peeking everything at this point completely cracked out of it Creators using the M10, which has kind of fallen out of the meta for a long time after the semi-auto shotgun nerf. Throw managed to get every frag onto Butters now, leaving them the single-man disadvantage. 
Yeah, so I was a decent frag on to the Jaeger, but I, I feel like at this point you've already lost your gridlock. But a little bit of second kill for Throne, so we'll bring it back to his team. Oh, and another nice shot as he picks up three to try to bring this back into his team's favor. They will have the man advantage. There's still two smokes, but it's going to be Nosk. And shuts down creators on the shotgun. It's going to leave this all up to the Dream as he's stuck in the one versus th three here. He will take one shot on to throw, but the flashbang starts to come through. Sonar will go for that plant. And it's going to be a Dream as he might be able to try to stop this here. He doesn't know exactly where the plant is. He's going to peek him with the shotgun. Will land one bullet on to Sun as he's going to have to go for that plant again behind the bomb. There's a nice cover here from Nas because it doesn't look like that, ex that, that toxic babe will land. And it's going to be a dream, an extra chance here to try to clutch this one out as he's in a pretty precarious spot. Yep. Yeah, in the one versus two post plant scenario, it isn't very favorable for him, especially since Sonar didn't get hit by any of those toxic babes, uh, forcing him off the plant and just holding an angle there, simply waiting for the peak, and it's an easy kill for him. A seven will manage to somehow salvage that round, now putting them only down one round. Uh, still down four to three, though. That's where they're kind of opening it up with those three kills, just doing an amazing job this matchup in general, and just really winning his ones. As you saw, they're very quickly transferring the trade into two kills after that, onto the roamers getting a little bit too aggressive. Though, uh, I believe that was creators in the beginning there, uh, using the pulse the shotgun, did a very good job in getting those first two kills. Um, definitely should not have happened, kind of a lack of drone work, they were just really feeding into the shotgun. After one player already knew that the pulse was playing very aggressively in there, and the player repelling on beating balcony wasn't really paying attention to the pre-hit windows there. Uh, so just kind of, I guess, lack of communication there between players not really calling out that pulse was in projector while those windows were crept either way it looks like they're gonna be going for a heavy top floor room and this could possibly be another admin take, as most of the spawns are going to be coming over towards admin. We've got X Creation over here in Nos. And Looks like they're going to try to be pushing out this Jaeger above. Yeah, it's going to be Creators, but it's going to be Nos who finds the first frag just running straight through. Takes down Butters on the Legion, so those Legion traps not going to be a problem for the rest of this round. He probably, I mean, he was only able to probably get down two, I would assume, maybe a third, but... Definitely not a fourth as but the creator is kind of playing with fire staying up here He's gonna get start to get tracked now. So he's gonna have to fall off of these angles Oh, is he just slams down throw a nice shot there onto the jackal? He won't be getting scanned anymore, but he's gonna decide to rotate off anyway So smart decision here by creators as he starts the round off hot for his own team gets the, re the trade out yeah, good feedback there from creators and smart decision in rotating down as he kind of was cornered upstairs, realizing that he didn't need to take the fight in order to waste a little bit of time while, of course, getting the refrag. He's going to choose to try to hold piano with his teammate. Yeah, he's got filthy inside of the bathroom. The remaining defenders are both on site, and they've got two attackers outside of the garage. So. Gonna see one nitro cell go through as X creation is gonna get the shot onto sonar. So nice shot there onto the thermite, puts man advantage into his team's favor, but Nosk will true shortly putting it into his own as Oh wall bang there onto filthy. He's got to be triggered about that one as he's gonna start to go for this push onto the main wall here. But it looks like X creation wants to go for the peek out here onto the yellow stairs. Won't find one as that F2 just does too much damage. Looks like Dream is gonna have to try to clutch this out in the one versus three. We'll find one on the Nosk though. So that's the F2 off the board, but the plant's starting to go down for mean as the cover is coming out from motive. Will they be able to spot the planter behind the white van? They'll spot the shoulder, but won't be able to find the frag. He's just going to run out. Oh, the timing there from Dream as the smoke canisters are set to come through. Could possibly just stick this defuse. Is anybody going to be in the spot to try to deny it? It looks like Mean is going to the wrong angle, but, I mean, he will vault in. It doesn't look like anybody knows where anybody is. They're going to spot out the Thatcher's rotating, but Motive outside the main is going to take down Dream. So an excellent round, again, from S7 to tie us up 4-4. Four to four.
very nice round from Nas getting four kills there, but ultimately getting the ace denied by Dream. A nice clutch attempt from Dream there. If only he had stuck the defuse right there, possibly could have won that as the Thatcher was pre-firing the wrong angle close uh, to white band when he was over by black car. So again, if he had stuck that, possibly could have been a ninja defuse, possible victory. Yeah, that would have been that would have been pretty crazy. Looks like Nosk is carrying a lot of the weight through the second half, along with Throw, uh, trying to bring this team back into lead, which they haven't had the lead at, at all this whole matchup. So, trying to find the first lead of the match. They've been tied once, and I guess twice if you count 0-0. Zero, zero. But, for our sake, we're not going to do that because they had, I mean, that doesn't count, in my opinion. I mean, I'm, this is my stream, so if you have a problem with that, you can go check up the Preacher. Learn some mirror strats from that yeah, one. Get some mirror sure. strats from the, the man himself. Anyways, moving into round number nine, I believe this is a top four defense from 92 Bean team. Uh, this is usually most teams' favorite bomb site. Taking a look at operator picks, uh, they have pretty much remained the same. Both teams, um, besides, actually, do not believe there has been any adjustments to either lineup. Um, both teams, no, there has not, unless I am missing something. Oh, the pulse for the maestro. That's, that's the only operator that has changed. Of course, like I said previously, pulse was a very strong operator on this map, particularly, especially for a top floor hold. It's kind of a, a little bit of a weirder short, like, attack now from S7. It looks like they're going to be coming from, at least at the moment, from all over the place. It looks like Nas, his job is just to repel in the window and just be a switch ACOG that repels upside down on a window. So, a very difficult job in this round. It looks like he might getting, he could possibly get peeked by the two players inside of Connect. But it looks like they're playing it passively. I mean, they could get easily naded right now if there were any nades on the side of... S7, but many of these angles are going to start to get opened up by the Thermite. Just that hard wall inside of the admin office, so easily going to be able to have that angle now. As looked like they wanted to be a repel onto the connector window, but Nosk will think better of it. So a wise decision as Dream did have the shotgun in hand, ready to, ready to blow the head off of Nosk. Yeah, it does look like admin control, of course, has been given to the attackers. Throw it on the downstairs. Realm clear will manage to get a kill on the butters. That is the Jaeger off the board. The Pulse is still alive, although I do not know what position he is currently playing. Does look like he's pushing down the yellow stairs and throw just missing the shots uncharacteristically of him. That's X creation managed to get the refrag onto him. Pulse is now free to roam on the downstairs to be able to provide a lot of information to his teammates. Built going for the nice cell, but will miss the ceiling. A very, very big misplay from there as Nas just runs into sight, picking up a kill on the Dream and Creators. Meanwhile, Mean getting a kill on the Filthy, leaving it all up to X Creation in a one versus four situation. The minute left and plenty of time for the diffuser to go down. So Nor will be planting the diffuser on top of the console desk. So the nice to sell, even if it was in position to do so, cannot deny the plant. We will just spot the pulse pushing up yellow stairs, but we'll miss the shots. This creation trying to look for a push up with the yellow stairs without any ammo left in this primary, switch to the pistol, and that's an easy kill for sonar. Putting up round number Round number nine, now putting S7 with the one round lead, the first lead of this matchup so far. Yeah, like you said, first lead of the matchup, and it's looked they've been flawless on their second half. They've won three in a row on the attack, and there's been no answer from the 92 Bean team. So definitely looking to see a little bit more come out of them in the upcoming round, as we are going to be seeing yet again Console and a Doc getting played by Creators. So going to opt off of the Legion, I guess. I think that was what the other operator was that they they had the last round, or a mute maybe. I believe it was, it was mute. I believe so. I don't know. Only Correct. Only, only, only the stream will. Only, only chat knows. We have no idea. Yep. Chat's always right. Taking a look at the defense, so it does look like we're going to have. I love this up down look, man. This is my favorite look in the game. It just everything looks so like weird. 
because it's a full map. Yeah, it's just like usually you're used to like looking at it from straight on, but now we're looking at it from above, and it's like, whoa, like totally gnarly, dude. See everything. Yeah, bro, you can see everything. Are we gonna have another aggressive spawn creep by expiation? I guess not another. His first, but the, I get another another pulse spawn peak. To locate a bomb and it. This is the same spawn peak that Throw did, which only managed to shut him down on. So most likely there will be somebody looking for it, or nobody peeking. It actually is what it seems like. Nobody even spawning over there at right barricade. I believe that spawn point is. So next creation, uh, luckily and unfortunately, not seeing anybody to challenge. Looks like we might even just see a rush up yellow stairs. Maybe they're just using this to. Yeah, it looks like they're just gonna try to push out the, the players downstairs. Is it's gonna be a nice wall bang there from S7. Well, they know that there's a Jaeger playing them long haul. The prefires will come out, but a nice shot by Butters will take the head right off of Nosk. Some shots coming into Butters. He's gonna have to play it a little bit safer here. Some shots to the wall, but another nice shot from Butters as he takes it off of Bro. So it's gonna put this into a 4v3 here as Butters is trying to find another frag, maybe put it into a 4v2, but no, we'll get evened out by motive after losing so much utility and man and health as well. So definitely a big uh, roam from Butters as he I mean not only wasted a minute, I guess. I mean not so much, but as a nice shot Butters and chat come out from throws, yeah. He got absolutely bodied. I shot indeed from him on both of those kills, really. Fortunately, did get finally pushed out there and killed. The damage is already done. He's lost Nosk, which has been doing very good on really just hitting his shots and your jackal. So, a little bit of utility that has been expended and the majority of really your fragging power that has been removed from play. Next creation on the rotate downstairs is trying to look for a possible refrag onto his teammate, but will not find anybody as the roam clear has since dispersed to the actual site push. So he will choose to push back into site, having not found anybody. Yeah, they're gonna try to drone him out as well, try to clear out this roamer, but I don't, I don't think they know that he's already rotated up the site, and I also don't know that they know that the back is playing on the stairs. It doesn't look like they do, but some missed shots from creators will allow Sonar to back away with his life. Uh, luckily at that, as, I mean, he might even get the kill onto the dock now. No, he will do a little bit of damage, but, I mean, again, him being dock, he's going to be able to stem himself all the way back up to full. This push might come out towards these, uh, top of the, these, okay, you see, the yellow stairs. Yes, Sonar will finally find the frag, so creators missing their shots was essentially key to the round. As he will fall because of it, but a down will come from the pulse, and the nitro will come. A smoke canister as well that will more than likely down out sonar. So, the last two being on these yellow stairs, actually, no motives inside of the main lobby, but he has been spotted out by the camera. So, with only 20 seconds left, he's gonna have to make a push happen, but he's getting shot from hacks to about 1 HP, and he's the only person left now. His motive or X creation takes out mean. So, it's gonna have to be an insane clutch for Moda, but he's got a crossfire held on him. He's being spotted by the cameras as well. It's gonna be X creation from outside the bathroom door to finish off that round. The first round of this half for the 92 Bean Team. And I'm gonna go get a drink of water, so please just talk for a second. Okay. Uh, I believe I did not see a single person doing any droning that round, besides, of course, the prep phase where you spawn in your drones, obviously. But very minimal droning coming out from S7, and that kind of ultimately leading to their downfall, as there's just too many angles for people to peek into and not knowing that they were there. Uh, the dock being on yellow stairs, of course, not being droned out, but just kind of being face-checked by your thermite of all people, especially with the diffuser, was kind of a big question mark. And then trying to push up the yellow stairs for a possible thermite onto the wall after you had wasted so much time Really just kind of sitting around outside Definitely windows to trying to look for info as and not droning. There's not really any other way for them to get info other than face checking things. And of course it's not a very efficient way as you can both lose your life and it's just very, very time consuming over just droning out a section of the map. Yeah. I, I just got back, so I don't know what you're talking about, but it's, it sounded intelligent, so good job. <laughs> Thank you, I try. No problem. I try. It looks like it's, I mean, I'm probably going to repeat some stuff that you just said, but downstairs defense. They've got nitro cells, more nitro cells this time. I get the, I guess only the two. Attackers have located so. a bomb. 
I don't know. I'd like to see a little bit more like uh, denial here or plant denial. You don't really need to bring the bandit to the site as the Thatcher and the soft destruction from above is easily enough to disrupt that bandit trick. I mean, it doesn't even look like X Creation is even trying the bandit trick because he's already placed down all of his, all three, first three, I guess, of his batteries. And I'm not sure, yeah, he's still got one, I mean, he's still got one in the pocket. So, he, I mean, he has the potential of bandit tricking, but with him being this far away from the wall, I, I, it's just not a thing, so. I don't really understand the point. I said, oh no, it looks like he tried to go for it, but will be unsuccessful. So, again, I don't really see the point of that if you're not going to actively bandit trick it, especially when you're already bringing a mute. You can bring me like more intel operator instead, or eight cogs even if you want. But I guess with the Echo and the Valkyrie off the board, there's not really much out other intel operators to play. But either way, I digress. Yeah, the lead by wall is currently Intel Operator left available in his aim light hero and pulse, I suppose. But for a basement defense, he's not really too uh, effective. Dream will open up for the first kill onto Sonar, though. That's just right off the board. The wall has been open, so he did expend a little bit of his utility. So not a terrible loss, but still a body thrown away nonetheless. Throw will manage the refrag, though, onto X Creation. That's your bandit off the board before Nask also gets one for himself on a Butterds. That's your lesion and bandit that you have lost. And now the mana advantage in the hands of seven spades, as now Creators and Dream both answer back with one for themselves. Poor Nas does manage to get a refrag out of Filthy. Now leaving us at even man count with a minute and 15 seconds left. Plenty of time for this site to execute to actually happen. Because of that, motive, will finally do some droning to figure out the position of the last two remaining defenders. Dream is on very low HP, about one shot to be exact, while Creators is on full. Still could be a very doable round for either team, but Sling towards the hands of the attackers as with the HP advantage and plenty of time again to make this execute happen. Attack Even more so as Nas picks up another kill for himself and the creators, leaving it all up to Dream in a one versus two. It's 40 seconds left, plenty of time for the attackers. Diffuser is getting planted by Motive and Dream on so low HP will manage to get picked up by Nas. It's kind of hard to win that gunfight there when you're on one shot of HP. It's Nas getting a 3k for himself and seven spades now one round away from taking home this match. Nosk, the Twitch main, popping off on the second half. 11 kills since the rehost alone. That was when we were tied, or up, it was 4 2, uh, 92 bean team. And S7 has been able to dominate the second half, only allowing one round to the 92 bean team. And one round away from ending it here is the Twitch main is going to try to shut this down here from 92 bean team. I, I know they definitely don't want to go to overtime. And I know I definitely do not want to go to overtime. Yeah, S7 is definitely a very frag-heavy team. As I said, there hasn't been really a whole lot of droning happening. It's just kind of just been face-checking and peeking things. And so far, it's actually been working for them really well. Nosk almost averaging about three kills for each attack round that has been uh, that has gone so far. Played five, or rather not. Who's played it? Wait, it was four, two. So actually, it would be five. So it was yes. two kills. Two kills. Math is hard. Math is Don't do math, math Math can be very hard in your head. All right. I'm just, I'm just like reserving yes. this next game. So give me a second. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna put it in there just yet. Just in case somebody else wants it. But I do believe this is a lobby and Ten seconds to insert. piano uh, site hold. Actually, no, it is a another garage and cafeteria. Um, I do believe the previous the previous round they did lose it, but they're trying to force it out once again. Looks like Butters might be like it looks like they're gonna have somebody on their own. I guess that's just for more intel that Legion Trap on the Visa stairs, but because it doesn't look like they're putting everyone anyone second floor at all right now when they have the hatch open. I would assume that someone's gonna rotate up at some point. Again, with the top floor control already in favor of uh, <laughs> S7, and them droning out these skew traps are isn't is big. As I, I don't understand the point of opening up these hatches, and then I don't really understand the point of this hold. 
at all. Yeah, it doesn't... It looks like all five bodies are currently on the bottom floor, so really all the setup on the middle and top floor is kind of really null. There's no one there to really utilize it at all. So it's going to be a very efficient and fast roam clear for S7. S7 looking like they know that there is no roamers and just very quickly taking control of Piano. Waiting to see throw on the Jackal utilizes the secondary shotgun to make holes in Piano or Nosk if he does have breaching charges. Sonar opening the garage wall will manage to get the first kill of the round onto Filthy. X Creation will manage to get a refrag onto him. Very nice shot there. An aggressive play at that. A nice bullet hole there from Dream as well. He's able to see right, I mean, right where the bomb is basically. Because I don't know if they know exactly that it's being held there. Some tra tracks are sort of out onto Butters. His last two are out from Throw there. He still has one more. I know to model three. Left as his creation is gonna hit another shot. Dream takes it down. Nos, so very likely to see overtime here as the yellow stairs will get shut down by X Creation. Triple kill for him in the round, leaving it all up to throw. Coming down the yellow stairs will get shut down by Butters as he hits the goo mine. An excellent round from Bean Team as they tie it up and push us to overtime. Very nice round from Bean Team. Indeed, they kind of just turtled up there on their defense being on match point, kind of playing a little bit more conservatively, and it really ended up working. As, like I said previously, S7 is kind of just a frag-heavy team. They haven't been doing really any droning, so if they just turtle up, they're not really going to be able to realize that things are as clear as fast as they would if they were actually droning it. And if nobody is there to peek them, then they don't really have that much leeway in the site push as other site pushes have really only worked just based off the fact that they have the man advantage in 2v1s or greater situations where it's really just unfavorable for the defense. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be the first the basement defense for the 92 bean team again. So, I mean, after running through S7 in the last round, they're going to choose to go back downstairs. Yep, something is definitely going to have to change from S7 for them to win this round. Their operator lineup has finally changed. Uh, it had stayed the same in the previous six attack rounds, and a single operator had been changed up until this point. They have swapped the, I believe, the Jackal and... Ten seconds left before insertion. Trying to think of the gridlock for a Buck yeah. and Five Sophia. Definitely a definitely much better picks, especially if they do have piano Attackers control so early on, as then they can flesh out those anchors from below who were really doing so much work and simply just peeking their garage and really winning those fights that they shouldn't be. It looks like uh, I mean we're doing the Thatcher and the Buck. Normally, I mean, you can you can spare the Thatcher for the site when you have the Buck pushing up top like this. And you can just allow for him to open up above this Bandit or mute while they're playing it in a cave and I mean, easily deny the trick. But it looks like they're going to be jotting the ring growth, just making it a little bit easier on themselves. As the main wall will be getting opened up right away by Sonar only. Only 45 seconds into the round. Thatcher is definitely never a bad pick, especially with ADS's Maestro Camps, Pink Jammers, and Goo Mines. Uh, Thatcher just provides a lot of utility, and that's X Creation peeking the garage once again and punishing Sonar for the third time, I believe, not being prepared oh. for the peak. This is just negligence at this point, just really losing these fights that, again, they shouldn't be losing. Look at this guy, he was on the car. I didn't even know you could hop on that car. That's actually a pretty crazy shot by X Creation. It looks like he's hungry for more, so he's just peeking at his little garage here. He's getting spotted out by the Thatcher on the corner. He'll peek a little bit wide. And X Creation's gonna get a few shots in the back there, as he's gonna have to fall back and try to reheal himself as Motive will find the first frag for this. Some goo mines getting hit off on the lower banana. As the Twitch seems to want to push down this angle. Does have the Twitch right there, but we'll be able to see the region there. A nice headshot there from Nos takes down Butters, but a peak wide by Creators. Gonna take the refrag. So it makes this keeps it a 3v3 for the time being as Motive is still trying to find the angles on this hatch. He'll be able to squeeze his way through that buck hole. I mean the diffuser is still stuck 
all the way out on that that, that truck and spawn. So I'm not sure uh, exactly how you're able to get up on that. But hopefully S7 is able to do that. No, it looks like it's falling off. So I'll be able to find that. I believe you can just walk up to it and you'll get a vault prompt. Oh yeah. Most you think it's that easy? Position. Yeah. Okay. Well, I thought I think you may have used like some hacks to get up there or something. But looks like. The Russian will come as the holdout is coming out from the hatch and the plant's coming to out behind the black car. That's going to be the motive to shut down the dock. There's going to be a flank coming upstairs. Creators going to shut down that claymore. Will he be able to get the flank onto this buck? He looks like he will. Yes, it's going to be a double kill for Creators and Dream, leaving it all up to the Zofia of Throw. Has a nice angle on the diffuser, though, but it looks like it might be able to get long arm there by the Jaeger. Is he going to pick up the barbed wire first? Yes, he will be able to long arm that, so it's the perfect angle. Is Dream going to be able to hold us off? But no, there's a fear charge. Perfect timing, but Dream, a nice headshot. Going to give it 92 Bean Team the first round of overtime. This Dream is just trying to make us all throw up. Very nice round from a Bean Team there at the end. Definitely should have been an S7 round, and I believe that was a 3 versus 2 or mm -hmm. even 4 versus 2. Some A very nice flank there from the Jaeger and some nice shots from the Maestro as well. And just that total sight retake. Throw there very smartly denying the counter defuse with his Zofia charge, but Dream realizing that he most likely, of course, has his lifeline out. Just going for the easy peek and picking up that kill. After that round, it will leave 92 Bean Team now once again in the lead. Now 7-6, to six, one round away from ending this matchup here and now. S7, of course, will be on the defense, and they were opting to go to their the only site that I believe they won, which was Cafeteria and Garage. Again, Motive on the Mira, who had been so influential in the previous Garage defense rounds, putting that Mira inside of Office and side of bathroom upstairs just to kind of provide uh, support in a position to play for the roamers to hold piano because holding piano is kind of a hard task especially with those two windows that attackers can just repel on and really deny the entire room Taking a look at the opera lineup for 92B team does look to be the exact same as what S7 had in the previous round. The Thatcher Thermite Twitch Buck and Zofia. Definitely a very high utility one at that. Especially with Twitch being able to destroy those mushroom cameras uh, recently a few patches ago. Um, which Kyana has made her come back into the meta. Usually most people played her much like you would play an Ash, just kind of frag heavy based off of the F2, which is of course one of the best guns in the game, having some of the highest DPS out of any other gun. Yes. That definitely is the main reason why people bring the Twitch. X creation is just a, a frag gun, so that's why you And also with the mirror in play, it makes a decent amount of sense. So it's definitely not a, a bad pick. Only, I mean, I only really like, qualify Mira if there's in, or a qualified Twitch if there's a Mira in play, so. It's definitely... Well, ooh, that's a nice angle, too. He's able to get that right nice above the wall the right there. there. Right above the Mira. So he might be able to spot the ADS, but no. He will miss as he tries to just shotgun that down, but it will just blow up in his face. He won't take any damage from it, but will lose the grenade. Very nice angle there from Filthy, a filthy one, you could say. Uh, just missing the grenade there, unfortunately, will not connect with anybody. He does have another one if he does want to make another attempt at that, unless he had already done so previously. While now being open with about half the round ticked down, so not as efficient as S7's attack was, but at even man count, things are looking pretty favorable for the defense. There's no damage has been done to either side, really. So, of course, the inherent advantage is with the defenders. Sounds as though the push is going to start to come out from I mean, possibly the backside and the front. They might do a, just a split push here as Dream is going to open up the second panel onto this wall. Creators want to cover from yellow stairs and 
possibly cover out this plant very well if there's nobody that's gonna be at YT. There's still Nitro Cells, throw with the first kill for his team though, trying to win this round out and push it to a, a 13th round as he's gonna be digging up the first kill of this round, so. Still breaching charges coming from upstairs, and it looks like Thoreau will be using his last stim pistol as well as he's got a nice angle here with the mirror window being open, trying to beat every angle that he can. But will it be Thatcher on that A-Clock be able to find it himself? Oh, it looks like that's actually the third night there of Dream. Just trying to see if he can find anything. x creation now will find one. As Motive will pick up the second. It's going to be Motive, though, getting pushed from the yellow stairs. He's on literally one HP now. He'll die to just about anything. Some more shots coming through. A nice shot from Throw as he'll take down Dreams. And Neen takes down Butters, leaving it all up to Creations. It's going to be Throw. A nice 3K, I believe, to bring his team to round number 13. What a match here. A round number... 15, I guess, right? 14. That was 14. But now we're going to round. Now, now we're, we're going, going to 15. 15. Yeah, there we go. This match is going the full distance. Oh, yeah. 100%. It's going, it's going the full distance. Very nice round there from S7. The turtle defense from both teams has been proving to work out very well. Uh, both teams really excelling on just getting opening picks and really winning their gunfights. So both teams just realizing that and really just not peeking each other. The main defense win has been for both teams, the garage, the garage rather, and cafeteria site, as it is very easy to turtle on. On the console office and meeting room, it is kind of a little bit more difficult to do so, as you have to be more spread out, and a roam is pretty required, especially on this site, just to kind of uh, prevent different pushes from happening. For example, the meeting wall, you need to have somebody really holding long desk and just, con just consistently watching it so the Hibana isn't able to open that up. We'll see the first Blackbeard of this matchup, surprisingly, on Sonar. Blackbeard is definitely a very strong pick on this map, in particular, just because there's lots of window play. This map and coastline are two of his best maps. That rifle shield, of course, only being two bullets for most guns is still enough to net a kill. As when you're on this level, most people have kind of similar gun skill. So just that extra reaction time that you have on the part with that face shield can save you uh, lots of times. I feel like I've, I've thought the same thing. I thought ever since I switched over from Xbox, I mean, Blackbeard's just so much more OP on PC. Just because it's so much easier to hit your shots, unless you've obviously got an MK on uh, your team if you're playing Xbox, but uh, the Blackbeard is just so much better on PC because you're able to hit those nice shots and that millisecond of time, especially with all of the nerfs, it just makes it that much easier for you. As we could see an obvious, maybe an early kill here, but another Nitro Soap will just get wasted out by Excavation. He keeps from the hatch. Will he be killed off by Throw? Yes, he will. So that's going to be Throw. Picking up the first kill in this final round for his team. And a big kill at that. A pulse. All that intel will be gone. He's still got the Miles here. He's going to be playing just the bottom of yellow. We'll get droned out by the Twitch, though. That'll be Nosk. Gonna try to fill this up as it will be Throw. Take down Butters. And it looks like they're going to try to push out the Mozzie as well. But it's going to be Filthy. Finds the nice shot there on to Throw. And... That'll put man advantage. He's trying to bring it back for his team, but no, a nice punch there from Sonar will catch Dream off guard, but will he be able to find another one? The face shield will get ripped off, but Creations will take a lot of HP for it, but HP getting dealt out both ways as he's really coming out ahead of that gunfight. As I say that, Sonar will pick up that kill. Gonna leave this in a one versus four here. Filthy, though, is actually really fighting out. He finds two kills, so he's got a triple kill. He's gonna have to ace if he wants to win this round, though. The diffuser is just outside of the Jack main door here bomb. so they're gonna have to push him in if they want to win this round and it looks like they're gonna try to do this as a team is they could even possibly twitch drone this last player if they have one left but it looks like the shots will come out from filthy as he tries to take the ones onto sony or sonar Jack will not land any just yet as the freezer will get picked up by sonar and possibly ran all the way over to the console side of things and also gonna try to cover a very bad position to be in in a one versus two situation, especially on so low HP and having to retake site. The diffuser is now being planted by Sonar on the console desk. The diffuser will successfully go down. We have Nosk who is on the repel and Blackbeard inside of closet. Uh, if Filthy is going in blind, which it does look like he'll be doing so, we'll just go for a run out, expecting a player to be on the repel, but the repelling player is expecting him. So 
being on so low HP, it's an easy kill for, I believe that was, Nosk. throw, Nosk, Nosk, yes. Nosk and throw are kind of the two main fraggers uh, of that matchup, kind of the scoreboard really shows that, um, <laughs> yes. not really much to really say about that besides the fact that, uh, 